Oh, finally Nikon is doing something better for itself and the consumers. I have always loved the detailed crisp images that comes out of from a Nikon sensor, be it the photos or the video. But what Nikon has always lacked was a good fast autofocus in video and the fact that the new cameras just didn't bring anything new exciting to the table. Just look at Sony or Panasonic or even Fujifilm. They are so keen and enthusiastic about getting things done to what the consumers this generation wants and what they are asking for. And the results are already you know, right? Many sales and love for the gas. That's the gear acquisition syndrome, not that gas. It's just that these brands are fast enough in bridging the gap between the DSLR and the mirrorless. Even Canon realized it and is doing something about it uh, right. Yeah, that's right. Hit that like button if you get what I'm trying to say or just subscribe if you didn't get anything, okay? So finally guys, the Nikon has released a new and one of the cheapest full frame camera out there in the market. It's the new Nikon Z5 or Z5 FX format, meaning full frame mirrorless camera. Sounds really exciting. That's some exciting useful features too, like carried away from its uh, bigger brothers, the Z6 and the Z7 or rather Z6 and Z7. I think Z6, Z7 sounds good. So what are they? Let's find out in this video, shall we? First of all, it is good to see that you can swap batteries from your other Nikon bodies such as the D600, D500, D810 or even the D7000 series like 7100, 7200 and so on. And the fact that you can charge your camera or other battery with the power bank on the go, yep, it's a USB-C type which is great. Second, it comes with a 24.3 megapixel full frame sensor with XP6 image processing. If the pixels doesn't sound interesting to you guys, there's a feature called focus shift shooting mode. Now I'm really excited about this one. It means that the camera automatically shifts focus position in each shot. Now which when stacked using a third party software can give you literally excellent sharp depth of field across the entire image. Now this thing is really great feature like if you're shooting products or jewelry, like if you are doing a jewelry photo shoot or landscapes or anything that's still in subject, right? So you can take up to 300 shots with shift focus. I think that's a wow feature and hit that like button if you love this feature. Now the third thing here is it comes with a dual SD card slot wherein you can just customize how you want to store the image like raw in one card and JPEG in another one or even just the second card duplicates the image from the first card for the backup purpose. It's just so useful. Another exciting thing is the camera has IBIS now. It's in body image stabilization. It's a five axis image sensor shift. So always helpful for shooting videos or taking images handheld. Also the focus area has 273 points so it covers like 90% of the image frame for better autofocus and area management. There are like plenty of area selection modes too and the fact that it has a joystick at the back for easy maneuverability. Now which means you can use the joystick to like quickly go ahead and focus that particular area. So it's always a useful and the feature something that's found on like high end mirrorless or high end DSLR cameras. Now that's uh, Nikon is bringing to the uh, entry level full frame camera right which is nice. The ISO sensitivity is pretty standard at like natives being 100 to 51,200 and it can be pushed further but who really cares. The electronic viewfinder now yeah this thing is uh, like 0 0.5 inches at 3.69 million dot OLED display which should be bright and it has like 11 manual brightness control which is fantastic. And now let's talk about the video features pretty much up to 4K 30 FPS. So which means you can shoot 1080p like up to 120 FPS and now 4K goes up to like 30 FPS. However, there's a recording time limit of 30 minutes which you should keep in mind and the file format is like same old MP4 or MOV. There's also built in 4K time lapse movie feature which is nice. There's also a focus speaking option which means you can precisely focus while recording the video and as usual other typical video features are also included. Okay now everything sounds good about this camera but wait not every camera is perfect and has everything right. Hmm. So did we talk about the back LCD panel hmm. now this could be a deal breaker for some. That's the one thing I didn't like about this camera. First of all, the screen is 3.2 inches with over 1 million pixel resolution display, fair enough. And it's a touch screen, good. But it's only tiltable up and down. It's not a fully articulating screen. Come on, why would you not make it an articulating LCD screen? Only adding that could we have given you more sales, Nikon. Yeah, that's the kind of uh, LCD panel we look for. Do you guys agree with me? Leave a comment down below. Also, the burst shoot is not uh, that great like 4.5 fps not so fast for uh, let's say sports or wildlife shooters okay the nikon says that there is no caveat when you are shooting at 4.5 fps meaning that you get continuous autofocus and pretty much have control over the focus area to not miss the shot 
so yeah now who should buy this then i think this camera suits even if you are like a beginner and like have 1400 dollars to spend yes it costs 1400 us dollars for body only and if you are like thinking to buy other brands aps -C size camera at that price point then this nikon z5 full frame camera by it could be a game changer for you in terms of learning and getting that crisp images with the new lightweight compact kit lens 24 to 50 millimeter f4 to 6.3 hmm 6.3 at 50 millimeter focal length it doesn't sound exciting to me but anyways if you are looking for an all-round camera then this could be a great buy as well either you are just starting out or you are a professional this could be a perfect camera so what do you guys think of this new nikon z5 like does it excite you enough to look into it or even just go ahead and buy it let me know in the comment section down below and uh, yeah guys share this video with your friends that's it for this video guys click that subscribe button if you haven't yet give this video a thumbs up if you will uh, like these kind of videos to see and i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye